Okay, welcome to another episode of Overlander Trailer. Um, I'm Nick, and this is my son, Chase. I'm, I don't think my dad knows what he's doing, Bullard. And um, it's a pretty chilly morning here in Central Virginia. It's about, well, it was about 15 degrees when we woke up, but I think now it's in the 20s and we got some snow coming in. So we're gonna try and attempt to put on our timber and axle lift suspension system today. Um, the, it's, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so far it seems pretty straightforward. There's some great videos out there, um, particularly where I, where I picked this up uh, from eTrailer. We've got a great how-to video, um, but we'll go over parts of it as we go through. Uh, anything to add? Uh, no. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to get us started, what we've done is we've actually flipped our trailer over. Uh, this is going to allow us to put our suspension system uh, on top so that it's easier to work with when we're mounting it. Um, the, the system itself actually came um, needing some assembly. Uh, as you can see here, the spindle actually needs to be bolted uh, to, to, the, uh, to the other part. Uh, using these bolts that it does come with. Um, you d it does require a torque wrench, uh, so you're gonna need one of those if, if you don't have one. Uh, and it's it's not the easiest thing to put together. I have assembled this one uh, and placed it on here, uh, sort of just as a placeholder for now. Um, the way that Timberin recommends that you install these is that you need to make sure that they are equal distance from the coupler. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, measure from the center of the coupler back to the uh, spindle itself and it needs to be within an eighth of an inch. Uh, so that's that's pretty close. You also need to make sure that your trailer is perfectly square. And when you're putting on an axle, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, it needs to, you need to observe the 60-40 rule. So 60% of your trailer's space is actually going to be in front of the axle and 40% is behind it. And the easy way to figure that out is actually to take a measurement of the entire trailer uh, of the uh, minus the uh, the tongue and uh, multiply it by 0.4. Uh, so we've done that and we have about uh, 38.5 inches. So um, next step is going to be getting these in place and drilling, uh, drilling the holes to, to mount them in. Um, one other quick thing I'll mention with this iron ton Utility trailer, the cross, uh, some of the cross members, particularly right in the center, um, since it all bolts together, uh, there's bolts that stick up. So I had to remove those for now um, to first to allow the, the axle itself to, to rest flush to the frame. Um, so when I, when I put it back together, we actually won't be putting the bolts in um, on, the, on the bottom because uh, obviously they're not gonna fit with, with that. Uh, we will be inserting a two by three uh, inch steel tube per Timberin's recommendation through this section, which helps strengthen uh, the trailer itself and provides additional support for the axle. So um, that's that, we'll, we'll get started here. Um, if you have any questions, comment, uh, and uh, subscribe for more videos as we progress along in our, our build out. Anything else to add, Chase? All right. Like because it's good. Okay. And uh, that's our dog, Westy. Hey, Westy. Do you have anything to add? No? Okay. Over and out. Okay. So a quick update here. We've got our axles um, measured out in place, uh, drilled the holes, um, inserted the bolts. Now I just need to tighten them down uh, both sides. And then uh, also have this piece of steel um, that I'm going to be running through um, through this integrated uh, system that allows for uh, strength and everything up, as I mentioned before. Then we're going to go ahead and put these cross members back in place, uh, bolt those back down, and uh, then we'll be ready to flip this over and get to adding the hubs and the brakes. Uh, so moving right along. Um, wasn't too bad, really. Uh, once, once we were able to get the measurements, you know, everything for the measuring straight, but uh, I think we're in good shape. So um, stay tuned. 